Hi, this is Naomi of Sword and Steel, and today I'm going to show you some gore, and some slime, and some slobber, and some spiderwebs. <laughs> It is very straightforward. You just need a glue, this glue, ooh, um, or any glue that has this sort of consistency, but this seems to be like the best. See that? Ooh. For slobber though, before you start using that glue, you need to use a gloss medium of some kind because the glue is going to dry a little bit matte. So all you have to do is apply a gloss medium all over everywhere that you think that um, he needs it. Like this guy, I'm applying it all over his lips and his tongue and his teeth. Um, this is my Chimera and I'm just doing the beast and I'm also doing the snake head. Now that the glue has started drying for a minute, I can apply it to the miniature. As you can see, I'm using a toothpick to do this because it will ruin a brush. Just like that. Nice subtle effect. The other thing that you can use is you can turn it into slime. All you do is put a drop in and mix it together. And then you start applying it the same way you just saw. I applied it to the base and then pulled it up to his tongue and his mouth. And you can make blood. Oh, so much blood. So much the same as um, the slobber, you want to put this glossy fresh blood down before you start using the glue, and you do that by just mixing. Um, I used Contrast Flesh Terrors Red and Contrast Wildwood mixed with a Vallejo Gloss Medium um, to make this nice fresh blood. Probably also use the uh, Blood for the Blood God, but I was going for a slight darker blood this time around. So, and now I'm going to apply it to my heart eater. And once it's fully applied to wherever I want it to be, I make the glue um, and start adding that to it. I am using a brush here, but this is a dead brush. It will not be used after this. As you can see, it's nice and stringy and you just apply it however and wherever you want it to go. It will dry exactly where you put it in the same uh, form. And I used a bit of the glue as it was drying to make it look like there was an organ spilling out blood on the ground. Here I have it on a piece of terrain. Here I have it on a night haunt scythe. Here I have it spilling out of the mouth of my blood crusher. Yes. And lastly, with the spider web, you just go back and forth and back and forth. I do suggest um, sticking the glue directly onto the two pieces of whatever it is that you want to make the spider web between, um, because you can easily pull it back and forth until there's nothing but webs. I hope that was helpful to you. Um, if it was, what exactly were you thinking of putting this amount of gore on. I am personally going to use my, um, my corn could use some more gore. They're all painted, but you know, I could use some gore on my gore pilgrims. Um, or even if I go with the blood lords on all of my, uh, bloodthirsters. Yeah, I, I like the idea of them being covered in gore on their asses. Yes. I think so. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!